This year in the spring of 2025, the AP exam for calculus, uh, both AB and BC, will have Desmos built into the calculator portion, a little tab on the top that you can open the calculator. You're also allowed to use your own TI, you know, 84, 83, whatever you have, but this Desmos uh, built-in has some great features and could definitely make life easier and some of the problems much faster. So on the AP exam, the calculator should be used to graph functions, find zeros of functions, find the values of a derivative. So not necessarily graph a derivative, but maybe just find the value of a derivative and also to integrate a definite integral, meaning the integral has bounds and you can then find the uh, area. Um, I also put in parentheses, find intersection points. This isn't one of the things the AP exam says you have to do on the AP exam, but I think it's something that you might want to do. It might make some problems easier. Now, the first thing is on Desmos, uh, there's a, a button for functions. And if you press that button, you can see that the trig functions are built in. Uh, you've got uh, uh, some statistics things, which you won't be probably using on this exam. Um, some lots of statistics things. Let me go all the way down. And finally, at the bottom, we've got some calculus things. You can see we've got a derivative. You see we've got f prime. You see we've got an integral sign, uh, a series sign. Um, so we are a summation sign, rather. Uh, so all these things are, are built in. But I also wanted to point out that you can type these things in in order to get kind of a faster uh, uh, user experience. So let me just start by talking about graphing. If you were to just uh, start typing and say like x squared or something like that, um, you'll notice on the bottom you've got the ability to do powers, but you can also just use the little, you know, shift six, the little up arrow. Um, x squared, you know, minus 8x plus, and instead of going to the function menu, I'm just going to literally write sin for sine. You can see that it went from italics to kind of a nice type once I had um, finished typing it. And there it is. There's f, or there's there's my function. So graphing, easy enough. What a, a smart thing to do, I think, with this is rather than just straight typing, define your function. Say f of x is equal to this. You notice that doesn't change the graph at all, but it's going to make our life easier in a little bit. Now, in terms of finding zeros, if you literally just either use your finger or your mouse and press, there are the zeros. It's just that easy. So unlike on your calculator where you have to, you know, pick a left point, pick a right point, find the zero between, you can literally just use your finger to find the zeros. And of course, you can you know, zoom in or zoom out on the graph, like just by pinching with your finger if you have a touch screen, or you can use the uh, little plus or minus uh, to zoom in, zoom out. Okay. So we have graphed, we have found the zeros. Let's say we wanted to find the value of the derivative. Let's say we wanted to know what the derivative was at, let's just say, 6. If we write f prime and then use our parentheses 6, you can see it is just figured out for us. It's 4.96017. It's just that easy to find the value of the derivative. Again, we could have used that function menu to get that symbol, but... By defining our function as f of x, we now have the power to just put f prime. Even cooler, if we write f prime and then instead of a number, we write x, it graphs the derivative for us. So that green function is the graph of the derivative. Pretty slick. All right, we've graphed. We found zeros. We found the derivatives. Now, let's say we wanted to integrate. I'm just going to, and by the way, if you press the little... Um, for me, green thing, it takes that graph away. So if you only want to see one graph at a time, really easy to do that. If you want to just make something disappear, hit the X and get rid of stuff. Let's say I wanted to know the area between, um, what was that zero here? 7.87. Let's say I wanted to know the, the area between that and 10. I can either go to the function menu and get integrate, or if you type I N T, notice that it just uh, brings up the integral for us. 
I want that one more time, 7.87. Okay. And I said 10. And then we write f of x. And just, you notice nothing's happened yet until you write dx. And there's the area. So now we've integrated. Okay. Now, I also said find the in intersection points. Let's say I defined a new function. We'd want to use a different name as, uh, let's say, 5x um, minus 2. Like that. And let's say we wanted to figure out the intersection point. If I zoom in on this, I can just tap. And there's the intersection point between those two curves, the x and the y. The one other thing that could make this a little bit easier is let's say I needed the pi symbol. Let's say I wanted it to be the sine of pi x. You can always go in and find a pi, but if you just type the letters p i, it makes it a pi. And that, again, you're on a time test on the AP exam, so this could speed you up by just not having to search through and find things. The other thing you'll see a square root button on the bottom um, in our in our uh, menu. I guess pi's right there, square root's right there. Uh, but you can also always just type SQRT and then put in the thing underneath. I guess it's probably not any easier, but I'm one that when I'm just typing, I just keep going. So this is the, the big applications that you can use this year. Just so you know, when you press the uh, little calculator, it brings up a very small window of Desmos. You can make that bigger. You can zoom in, zoom out. So don't feel like you're limited to just the little space it gives you. You can change it so you can get a better uh, view of it. But again, you can still use your calculator, your, your Texas Instruments calculator. But in a lot of cases, I think this will speed you up uh, as you're working on problems. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more math help and good luck on the AP exam.